Hey guys, what's up, my soap here? Welcome back to the channel. And Apple surprised us all yesterday releasing official software as well as beta software. Yesterday, Apple released iOS 15.2.1 for everyone, for iPhone and iPad users. And you can download that software right now. But for developers, Apple has also released a new beta, iOS 15.3, developer beta 2, the first beta of the year. And of course, I want to go over everything that's new within the latest software. I wanted to dig around the software and get back to you guys a couple hours later after the release to share with you guys what's new because we really haven't seen anything major any major changes coming with 15.3 so of course as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing to note here is the file size so we have approximately 600 to 700 megabytes if you're updating from ios 15.3 beta 1 over to beta 2 that's going to depend on your device and the beta that you're updating from i also want to take a quick look at the, the build number because the build number also has a lot to say as into when we can expect this software to be released to the general public and right now we see that the latest build number is ios 15.3 beta 2 1 9 d 5040 e that's a long build number i'm expecting this software to be in beta for maybe at least another month and a half or so there's rumors for apple holding an event mid to late march this year so this software could be releasing maybe towards mid in march we'll have to wait and see right now it is january so we have another i don't know two and a half or two months here waiting for maybe this software to be released so we could see maybe up to a beta 5 beta 6 release candidate and then maybe a release well have to see how the software actually progresses over time i'll stay updating you guys as time goes by as always now as ios 15.2 was released or 15.3 beta 2 was released apple has also updated all their other platforms as per usual mac os 12.2 beta 2 was released a day prior ios actually this was january 11th and then january 12 we see ios 15.3 beta 2 as well as ipad os 15.3 beta 2 of course watch os 8 Point four beta 2 is now out and tvOS 15.3 beta 2 is now available so what's new with ios 15.3 we really haven't seen any major changes within the software and i continue to see that apple is more of fixing bugs and addressing minor things there's still no major features one thing that did change was within private relay which by the way is still in beta however you now get a message if your carrier deactivates your private relay so right there it is private relay is either not supported by your cell plan or has been turned off in cell settings with private relay turned off this network can now monitor your internet activity and ip address is not hitting from known trackers or websites so that is the message that you now get if your carrier does not support or turns off private relay on their end on your iphone for ios 15.3 aside from that honestly i haven't noticed anything new it's been close to 24 hours i've been digging around the software hoping to find any major features and changes within the software as i mentioned there's still maybe another month and a half to two of beta testing for this software before it's officially released to everyone uh, worldwide so there's still time for new features and changes but it looks like apple is targeting minor small bugs and things like this before getting to hopefully some of the bigger stuff like the apple ids and wallet and things like that that we're hoping for universal control which we see our first glance at it with mac os 12.2 beta 2 and things like that so we'll just have to wait and see hopefully Hopefully, Apple will continue to build upon iOS 15 with 15.3. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.